it is currently 9 a.m. I can't believe we made it to day three and hopefully we can make it to day four, which is today. I was supposed to babysit my my cousin's baby, but fortunately he's not coming today, uh, which kind of sucks because we were really excited to see him again. He hasn't been over for a really long time, so um, that's okay. Hopefully he comes tomorrow and then we can hang out. And here is my coffee. I'm usually not a breakfast person, but I ate breakfast today because, I don't know, I just wanted to eat um and then i also have my coffee this is a caramel macchiato with vanilla sweet cream cold foam but it's like blended in here so you guys can't really see the cold foam so last night when i was editing like my hand was literally like this on the mouse and so i was not using or not moving this finger for a really long time and then when i was doing something other than editing and when i would move my middle finger it would hurt so much i was like panicking i'm like why is it like it's okay now today it's not hurting as much as yesterday today is gonna be like a really really boring day <laughs> just so you guys know i wanted to like talk about this to you guys for a little bit it's not that it's like affecting me at all it did affect just a tiny bit but like it went away after because I care less about it. But I just want to address to everyone that I'm doing okay. If you guys don't know or are confused what happened, I think a couple weeks ago, I posted a video of me doing a makeup look. And mind you, it was just a makeup look. Nothing else. It was just an inspiration and I wanted to try to replicate um, influencer look also to address there are many people who are using her picture including me and she reached out to me actually personally and she asked um to be tagged in it but to not use her photo next time i i wanted to address this that i but i wanted to address that i found that picture on pinterest and i saw many creators using it on TikTok. That's how I, you know, found her picture. I didn't know like where her Instagram was, but there are many creators that are still using her pictures to this day. And um, obviously they're not gonna watch this, but if you are, and if you see a creator using her photo, please make sure to tell them to tag her because I also reached back to her saying that, like, oh, I'm so sorry. I did not know that this picture was you in it. Um, I found it on Pinterest and many people are using it on TikTok. Just wanted to let you know that many people are using your pictures um, and it's on Pinterest for free. So yeah, she just said to make sure to tag her and so that's what I did. Back to the other topic I was talking about. Um, yeah, based on that video, people were saying that it would have been better or it, I would have looked better if I lost weight. And weight is a very sensitive topic to many, many people. And especially for me, because I am well aware that I gained weight and I'm not stupid. I'm not ignoring it. Um, I know that I've been gaining a lot of weight and it's, it's definitely noticeable, but I don't need other people to tell me that um, to be able to replicate a look, I should be skinny like the model herself. And I'm like, I'm like sitting here reading the comments and I'm like, people are so cruel and people have so much time in their day to just comment mean comments on my Instagram page. Honestly, it was kind of hurtful because it's like, I don't even know you. You don't even know me. Why are you bullying me online? And I was just come to learn that like, that's just how social media is. And it's like same thing again. They don't know me. I don't know them. So it doesn't matter, you know, like their words don't matter because they don't know me. But I just wanted to address that to you guys. If you guys were wondering how I was doing after that last video, I'm doing okay. I'm doing a lot better. I did have a few moments where I did break down and cried, but I'm past that now. And like, don't even care like i i don't even go back and check out that video anymore there are many people who were very positive and were very nice in the comments so yeah um i think i'm just gonna edit some videos um i'll see you guys after <laughs> I 
like how my hair looks things on like my right side are not cooperating with me if you guys haven't seen the vlog number two i think two or three but i showed you i took you guys to go get a haircut with me and this is the result i think after a couple weeks i haven't really gotten the chance to style it as much i really 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 like this hairstyle i think it's, it still looks the same as like my old hairstyle but it's a little a little different you know a little different so every time i walk away when he's eating you can eat alone it's okay i don't have to be there hi everyone it is very much later i took a very long nap and I woke up not too long ago. I want to change my nails. I did them last week, but I want to change them again. <laughs> so I do have gel legs on, which I'm not the best at it yet. So I think I'm going to try doing them again. Okay, so I'm going to be using these gel legs nails. Got these from Daiso. Surprised Daiso has this. I try to get most of my nail stuff from Daiso because I have really good stuff there. And then this is the 6-in-1 nail gel glue. This one. This is from Amazon. So this is the brand from Amazon. I do have my Amazon storefront linked in my link tree. So if you guys want to check that out, definitely do. I do have all of these linked down. And then I also have a nail dehydrator and a nail primer also linked in a uh, storefront these stuff from like daiso and stuff i can't link them on amazon because they're obviously not available there the gel base and top coat i like to use is from beetles i know beetles is a very popular nail brand on amazon and then i have my little bag set right here got these nail files from five below there was three but i only have one left um the sally hansen instant cuticle remover i believe you can get this on amazon too but if not you can get it at sally's beauty after filing your nails you definitely need this brush cuticle clippers i got this nail daughter from daiso as well cuticle pusher and i also got this this nail file from walmart not the best but just a job for me if yeah, i need to file my nails um it comes with like it comes with a little holder in the back to hold all of the different uh file nail files so first thing i'm going to file my nails i gotta get paper towel first to set it up down here there's this nail inspo that um my nail artist that i like to uh, that i like to go to i don't go to her often unless you know it's last minute she sometimes have last minute openings so i go to her she's located in sacramento downtown and she specializes in japanese gel overlay gel extensions so she does a lot of japanese and korean nail art and we don't have that a lot in sacramento so um it's actually really really nice to know someone that does um korean and japanese nail art there is a inspo for a nail art she did i really liked it i think i took a screenshot of it let me just search it up real quick okay this is that not cute like that is so cute and i want to try and replicate that i actually do like it this short so i might just do my natural nails at this point so maybe i will not use this because i always had a hard time doing it and they look really really ugly okay so i'm gonna go grab a paper towel and set it up So we 
are going to choose our colors. Um, this right, is later. from Savaland. I got it off on Amazon. It is also linked in my storefront if you guys are interested. It's kind of like Korean jelly nail art. Um, it has like a good variety of color. I wanted like something jelly, pastel colors but also that has a white and a black gel and this also comes with base coat top coat and a matte top coat which is pretty cool so she has white she has like a light pink there's so many pinks in here i'm not too sure which one i want to do i don't know maybe i'll go with this one and then there's also some sparkle like a glitter nail polish on top of the pink i just finished taking off everything for some reason this side took so long and this side did not like everything popped off of this finger well this one i could not pop it off i'm only gonna do one side first <music> and i only got one hand done it's not perfect doesn't look exactly like the one in the photo i don't know if you guys could see there it is i am just going to add cuticle oil to it and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <music>